Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna get straight into this video. I'm gonna be using three bundles of 18 inch body weight from MikeShears.com with the matching frontal. And to lighten this hair, I'm gonna be using L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach along with 20 volume as well as a 40 volume developer. Now, I align these clips along the top of the bundle just to keep it nice and neat. But I'm gonna start off by just weaving random pieces of the bundle that I want to make lighter. These are going to be the highlights. So as you can see, I'm just going along the length of the bundle and taking random sections. And I'm not making these sections too big because I don't want the bundle to end up being a fully blonde bundle. I really want to keep the dimension in it. Some highlights, low lights, and a little bit of the natural color. Once we have all the hair sectioned out now, I'm gonna start by laying some foil under the highlighted pieces or the pieces that I picked out. And I'm just gonna apply the 40 volume developer. Once we have the first set of highlights all done, we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing to the opposite side. Only this time we're gonna be using the 20 volume developer. So I'm going into this bundle and going in between the sections that I already have left and just picking up some random pieces. As you can see, I'm just doing the same thing, applying the foil and then applying the 20 volume developer bleach mixture. All right, now we're gonna repeat the same steps to the other two bundles and move along. Here's just a quick peek of the bundles after they have been rinsed out and you can really see the three different tones and this is exactly what I was going for. Now on to the frontal. So I'm gonna start off by taking diagonal back partings and just performing highlights on this frontal and making sure I leave enough darkness in between. As you can see, I'm still using two separate bleach mixtures, one a 20 volume and the other a 40 volume, and I'm just alternating foils all the way up the head or up the frontal. <laughs> And here's a quick tip that I learned from Guy Tang himself. Shout out to Guy Tang. I like to leave out the baby hairs or the front hairline. That way it doesn't end up looking like breakage after you've colored all the hair. And it gets toned all together once I put the final color on. Here at the top, what I'm showing you is that when I weave, I like to make sure I take that first chunk of hair that's around the middle part. That way, when it's curled, it's always going to be that brightness around the face.
Now that I've made it all the way up the head, I'm just gonna repeat the steps to the opposite side of the frontal. Out the color, I'm gonna be using an eight ash from the one and only Argan Oil Hair Color. I am obsessed with these hair colors. And this is what's gonna really bring all these shades and tones together. I mix the hair color with a 20 volume developer and I let that process for maybe about 40 to 45 minutes. Would you look at these colors? It looks so pretty. It's really giving me a peanut buttery vibe. But when it came to the frontal, I feel like I went a little bit too light. As you can see, it's the frontal on the right hand side. So I'm gonna go in and add a little bit more darkness and I'm gonna use a five chocolate by the same exact argan oil hair color. And I'm just gonna go through and just add highlights as needed, or should I say low lights. Coloring the frontal is a little different than coloring the bundles and it's easy to go blonder than you would like. So I'm just going in and just adding these low lights as I see fit. And I just mix the color with a 20 volume developer because I don't need any lift. And I let this process for maybe about 30 minutes. Honestly, I was pissed off that the frontal got lighter than I wanted, but I'm glad I caught it on camera because even when you feel like you've made a mistake, it can ultimately be fixed in some way. And I was nervous that my client wasn't gonna like the finished color, but she still loved it. Now that I've kind of brought the frontal back down to a level that I'm comfortable with, it's time to bleach the knot. So I flip it over and I like to mix my bleach really, really thick. That way I don't have to worry about it bleeding, moving or shifting too much while it's bleaching. Here is the finished product guys. You can really see how all the colors blended together so perfectly. This technique I'm definitely gonna stick to and I'm gonna try it with different colors. Here's a look at it from the front. The frontal was installed by Mike Shears himself. Yes, indeed, we tag team and boom, look at this. It is so gorgeous. Let me know if you like this. Comment down below if you have any questions and stay tuned for the next video.